Okay, now let's have P6. Number one. Which of the following objects has the greatest kinetic energy? Okay, we have the following choices. We have uh, mass of 4m and a velocity of v, mass of 3m and a velocity of 2v, mass of 2m and a velocity of 3v, and a mass of 1m and a velocity of 4v. So we are finding the greatest kinetic energy. So we have to use the formula of kinetic energy, which is 1 half mv squared. So all we have to do is to um is to get all of these uh choices then cover it up on the kinetic energy formula. Okay? So calculating it for for m and v 4 times 1 squared plus to 2. So in letter A we have 2 in letter B we have 3m and 2v, 3 times 2 squared, 2 squared 4 times 3, 12 divided by 2 equals to 6. Letter C, 2m and 3v, we have 2, 3 squared 9 times 2, 18, over 2 equals to 9. And letter D, we have 1m and 4v, 4 squared 16 over 2 equals to 8. So the answer here is letter C, 2M and 3V. Number two, when negative work is done on a moving object, its kinetic energy okay, is what? What will happen to its kinetic energy? We have negative work. Negative work meaning it is slowing down. So its kinetic energy should, letter B, decreases. Okay, negative work is done on a moving object. Moving object, negative work. It's kinetic energy. This one is slowing down or decreases, letter B. <clears throat> Number three. A balloon is filled with 3.8 liters of helium at STP. Approximately how many moles of helium contained in the balloon? Okay. So, yung inahanap natin is yung moles of helium sa balloon. So, at STP, we have 0 degrees Celsius, equivalent to 273.15 Kelvin. <clears throat> Pressure here is 1 atm, equivalent to 760 mmHg. And we have 1 mole equals to uh, 22.4 liters. Okay? So, all in all, we have to calculate 3.8. 3.8 liters times 1 mole over 22.4. So we have 3.8 over 22.4. That is equivalent to the answer, which is letter B, 0.17 moles. Number 5. Which of the following units used to express strength of a magnetic field? Magnetic field, the units... The unit is Tesla. Tesla is to magnetic field. Newton is equal to force. Galileo and Edison are scientists. Number six. If the speed of a moving object is doubled, which quantity associated with the object must also double? So we need to find, we need to have <coughs> the different formulas of this of the following choices. We have acceleration. We have change in V over T. If we double the speed, should the acceleration should be doubled? Which is not because we have change in displacement here. I don't have this displacement. Okay? So A is not the answer. Let's try letter B, momentum. Momentum is equal to M and V. If we double the speed, the momentum will also double. So the answer is letter B, momentum. How about letter C? PE is equal to MGH. Okay? But we cannot find a certain speed here. Okay? So C is not answer and as well as kinetic energy because square po C uh, velocity. Okay? Pag square dapat 
times 4. Okay? Quadruple dapat siya. So the answer here is letter B, momentum. Number 7. According to a scientific method, what needs to be done beyond conjecture or simple hypothesis? Okay? The answer here, in like in chemistry, is letter A. Conduct a controlled experiment. Number eight. Sound vibration below 20 vibrations per second is considered. Again, the key term here is below 20 vibrations. Pag below, the answer is infrasonic. Pag below, infrasonic. Less than 20, infrasonic. Ultrasonic, more than 20,000 hertz. Ultrasonic, 20,000 hertz. Okay? Number nine. <clears throat> The following situations illustrate acceleration, except one. Okay? The following situations illustrate acceleration. Okay, what do we mean by acceleration? Acceleration is change in magnitude and change or in direction or in velocity. Okay? May change the direction at nag-change din yung magnitude. Let's try letter A. A drum rolls down an inclined plate. Pag roll down si drum, Ang mangyayari is merong change in magnitude. Increasing ang kanyang velocity. So, that is acceleration. Letter B. A body travels around the curve with a constant speed. Okay? May constant speed. Pero, traveling around a curve. So, may change in direction. That is still acceleration. Letter C. Increases its speed from 70 kph to 120. Meaning to say, merong change in magnitude pa rin. This is still acceleration. So the answer here is letter B. A car travels at a constant speed along a highway. Okay? Number 10. <clears throat> a spherical concave shaving mirror, uh, radius of curvature of 30 centimeters, and a, mag a mag magnification of 12 cm from the vertex of the mirror is what? So we are using two equations here. We have the lens equation and the magnification. Okay, so we have 1 over F equals to 1 D naught plus 1 D initial. Okay, magnification, we have H1 over HO or negative DI over DO. So we have, we need to get all the givens. We have the radius of curvature, we have 30. We have the DO, we have 12 centimeter. And we have the focal point, which is just divide uh, the R over 2. We have 15 centimeters. Okay? Why positive? Kasi nandiyon siya sa positive side. Okay? From the vertex of the mirror kasi. So, let's plot. So, 1 over di equals to 1 over 15 minus 112. We have di equals to negative 60 centimeters. And finally, to find the magnitude, negative di over, neg over do, we have negative Negative 60 m over 12 cm, it should be positive. The answer is letter C, 5. The magnitude is 5. A word of notice, pag ganito na mga questions, lalabas at least, I think, 6 questions of this type of questions about mirrors, uh, concave, convex, lenses, and so on. <clears throat> Let's go to number 11. An object, 2.0 cm high, is placed 14 cm to the right of a concave, again, concave, spherical mirror having a radius of curvature of 20 cm. What is the position and orientation of the image? Okay? Ano ang position niya at, at saka orientation? Okay? So, we need to plot the given. We have radius of curvature, we have 20. DO, we have 14, which is to the right. Okay? To the right. Meaning, it is positive. So, focal point equals to 10 centimeters. And HO, we have 2 centimeters. Okay, let's plot. 1 over DI equals to 1 over 10 minus 1 over 14. So, we have the DI which is 35 cm. Okay, 35 cm. 35 cm, so cancel C and D. We have A and B. Okay. Question, is it to the left or is it to the right? Okay, if ganito yung <clears throat> need that information, if we say to the left, 
the di should be negative in the opposite direction. Okay? So, we need to find this is 35, this is positive, meaning to say it is in the same direction. It is to the right. Okay? It is the same direction. It is to the right. So, the answer here is letter B. 35 cm to the right and inverted. Okay? Let's try to have it again. If D1 or D1 is positive, it is in the same direction. It is a real image and it is inverted. While if D1 is negative, it is in the opposite direction. It is virtual and it is upright. Okay? That is the difference between uh, if D1 is positive or it is negative. The answer here is letter B. Number 12. The speed of light in crown glass is 2 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. What is the index of refraction? Index of refraction formula is n equals to cv, where constant c is c. Okay? c is speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8. So all we have to do is to divide it. So 3 over 2 equals to 1.5, which is letter B. Okay? Index of refraction, uh, we have air 1, water 1.33, and alcohol 1.36. Okay? Just memorize air, water, alcohol, and diamond. Okay? Number 13. <clears throat> An object 1.50 cm tall is placed 6.0 to the left of the vertex of a convex spherical mirror. Okay? Again, this is convex. Hindi na po ito concave. Meaning to say, negative siya. So, opposite siya. Okay? Opposite siya. Yung... A result niya. So the position of the image is what? Okay, let's calculate. We have the given R equals to 20, DO equals to 6 to the left. Okay, to the left of the vertex kasi focal point is negative 10 centimeters. Bakit negative? Kasi convex po siya. Okay, H0 equals to 1.5 centimeters. Let's plot the equation. 1 over di equals to 1 over negative 10 minus 1 over 6. So di is negative 3.75 centimeter. Okay? Negative 3.75. Okay? Walang, walang negative po dito, sir. Because this positive and negative refers to the direction. Again, pag negative, opposite direction. Left, di ba? So, opposite direction. It should be to the right of the mirror. So, the answer here is letter B. Right of the mirror. 3.75 centimeters. Number 14. Balik ba? Okay. Same. Oh, Same pala. Okay, let's go to wait. Ay, iba yung question. Sorry. So, let's proceed to 15. <clears throat> what principle explains why airplanes can fly and curve, curve, curveballs curve? Okay? The principle here is Bernoulli. Okay? Bernoulli is the principle here. Okay, not Archimedes, not Pascal, and not Torricelli. Archimedes is to buoyancy. Pascal is to pressure. Number 16. A rock drop of a bridge takes 5 seconds to hit the water. Approximately, what was the rock's velocity just before the impact? Again, just before the impact. So, we need to find the initial velocity. So, we have V equals to GT, where G is constant. We have 9.8, and we have 5 seconds. All we need to do is to multiply. If we multiply, we get letter C, 50 meters per second. Number 17. Of the following, the copper conductor has the least resistance. Okay? Which copper conductor here has the least resistance? Least resistance. So, anong itsura ni copper conductor pag meron siyang least, or least, resist, least resistance siya? Okay? So, we have that key term. 
Okay? We have the formula, which is R equals to P L over A. P here is resistivity. Okay? L length, A equals to area. Meaning to say, if the copper conductor has a larger area, the lesser the resistance. Okay? The larger the area, lesser resistance. So, is it thick or is it thin? It should be thick. The thicker the copper conductor, the lesser the resistance. So, cancel B and cancel C. We have All we have is A and D. Okay. Let's go to the left. Remember that if the length is smaller or lesser, the lesser the resistance pa din. Okay? If maliit yung length, maliit din yung resistance. Or, so, is it short or is it long? That is short. So, the answer is letter A. Thick, short, and cool. Number 18. An empty garbage truck moving at a speed of 4 meters per second enters a tunnel where a bale garbage half as massive as the truck is dropped onto the truck. What is the speed of the truck when coming out of a tunnel? So, merong empty garbage truck na nag-move at a certain velocity, a certain speed of 4 meters per second, paglabas niya sa tunnel, yung bale ng garbage niya is half as massive as before. So, meaning to say, what will happen to this is just to flat. So, we have V equals to 4 meters per second over 1 plus 0.5. Kasi half as massive. Half as massive meaning 0.5. So, 1 plus 0.5, 1.5. 4 divided by 1.5 is equivalent to 2.7 meters per second. Again, pag sa question, merong garbage truck, 4, 4 meters per second, the answer should be 2.7. Just memorize that one. Pabalik, paulit, ulit po iyan. Number 19. A drinking glass is one-fourth filled with water and is repeatedly tapped at the side of with a metal spoon. What will happen to the pitch of the sound? So here, we have a drinking glass. One-fourth filled with water po siya. Then, slowly, uh, kinakatas natin yung... Uh, uh, ano niya? Drinking glass is one-fourth filled with... Okay. From one-fourth filled of water, then we add, 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 add again and continuously tap. What will happen to the pitch? Okay? The pitch will decrease. Okay? If we continuous, continuously tap it at the side, the pitch of the sound will decrease. Okay? It will decrease. Number 20. Which of the following statements is true? Okay? Statement is true. So, a body can have a constant velocity and still have a varying speed. Again, constant velocity na nga siya, but nagbabari ba yung speed? Hindi. Kasi kung constant yung velocity, constant then yung speed. Letter D. A body can have a constant zero velocity and still be accelerating. Zero velocity na nga. Hindi na siya dapat mag-accelerate. Letter B. Uh, let's try letter C muna. A body has a constant velocity and still be accelerating. Constant na nga yung velocity niya so hindi siya nag-accelerate. So the answer here is letter B. A body can have a constant speed and still have a varying velocity. Number 22. A heat engine operates with 65 kcal of heat and exhausts 40 kcal of heat. How much work did the engine do? Okay, What formula do we use? Okay, we have uh, W equals to HI minus HO. All we need to do is to subtract. 65 minus 40 is equivalent to 25 kcal. Sir, wala pong 25 po dito kasi kcal pa siya. So, we need to convert kcal to kilojoule. Okay, what is the conversion? To convert kcal to kilojoule, we use 4.186 kJ equals to 1 kcal. And we will have 25 times 4.186 and the answer should be 105 kg. Okay? Number 25. A bar magnet was broken into four parts. The total number of magnetic poles existing in the four parts is so four 
magnets, how many poles? 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay, the answer is letter C, 8. 26. A small electric lamp, when placed at the focal point of a converging lens, will produce a what? Okay, the key term here is focal point. Okay, when we say cofocal point, it will produce parallel beam. Again, focal point, parallel beam. Number 27. The power rating of an electric motor that draws current of 4A, which when operated at 110 volt is what? Okay? Ano ang power rating po nito? So, power rating is equivalent to V and I, its current and its uh, voltage. All we have to do is to multiply. Basic lang, di ba? So, 110 times 4 equals to 440. Okay? 440 watts. 28. Generator is a device that converts what? Generator meaning to generate. To generate what? To generate electricity. So the answer is mechanical to electrical. 29. A baseball pitcher is throwing a fastball which has a speed of 42 meters per second. The mass of the baseball is 0.18 kilograms. How much work has the pitcher done on the ball throwing it? Okay? How much work? Work po yung uh, needed natin. So, we need to have this formula. Work equals to its kinetic energy equals 1 half mv squared. And all we have to do is to plot the given. So, we have 1 half point times 0.18 times 42. And we will have the answer of letter A. 159 joules. Number 30. If two equal positive charges are equidistant on either side of another positive charge, the middle positive charge experiences what? Okay. May dalawang equal positive charge. Okay. May dalawa. On this image, ito, yung dalawa. Mayroong middle positive charge dito. So, ano ang, ang na-experience nito? When these positive charges are either on the side. Okay. So, this middle positive charge here experiences zero net force. Okay? So, zero net force. Equidistant kasi yung uh, positive charges niya sa sides niya. Okay? Number 31. In addition to force, work involves what? Force, in addition to force, work involves what? Work involves motion. Okay? Again, work involves motion. Not time, not weight, and not friction. 32. What is true of all combinations arranged in parallel? Ito, lalabas po ito. So, dapat kabisado po niyo yung concept ni series versus parallel. Okay? So, we have a series circuit here, meaning one circuit lang siya. Parallel circuit, multiple. Okay? Kaya nga may tatlo, di ba? Okay. What will happen? to the uh, current, the, vo the voltage, and its resistance. Pag series, okay? Ito lang yung uh, kakabis kakabisoduhin nyo. So, the current of a series circuit is the same. All throughout, same. It ve ang velocity po niya is divided. Okay? Pag series, voltage divided. Yung uh, resistance niya is increases. While as si parallel, yung current niya is divided kasi dinidivide niya parallel kasi voltage the same voltage all throughout and its resistance is decreasing so let's try one current splits down each leg of the combination parallel okay current splits down divided so correct c1 we have two voltage is constant across each leg voltage is constant voltage is same that is true. Three, resistance is the same for each leg. Resistance the same ba? It is decreasing. So therefore, three is not true. Okay? The answer here is letter B. One and two. Okay? Number 33. Matter waves were first hypothesized by which scientist? Okay? When we talk about matter waves, always associate with De Broglie. Matter waves, De Broglie. Matter waves, the Broglie. 
Memorize that one. 34. Which of the following is the best example to use of the use of the referent? Again, the word, the keyword here is referent. When we say referent, the answer is big as dump truck. Big as dump truck. Ito, lalabas din to. 35. During the thunderstorm, 4.0 seconds elapses between observing a lightning flash and hearing the resulting thunder. How far in kilometers and miles was the lightning flash? Okay. Thunderstorm, 4.0, lightning. Okay. And we hear the sound. So we need to have the speed of sound, which is 344 meters per second. Okay. Distance. Okay. Distance. What we need to do is to multiply. So let's just uh, approximate it. We have 350 times 4 is equivalent to 1.4 kilometers or 0.9 miles. Okay, number 36. A step up transformer has what? Okay, step up meaning more coils ng wire. Kasi nag-step up yung voltage niya. So meaning to say it has fewer windings on the primary coil. Fewer windings siya kasi nag-step up siya. Increasing, kung bali. Pag more winding siya, nag-step step down po siya. Okay? Step up, fewer windings sa primary coil. Okay? Fewer windings sa primary coil. Step up, transformer. Number 37. Ito, simple lang ito. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. So, letter C. 38. Which of the following is a scalar quantity? Scalar quantity versus vector. Diba? So the answer here is temperature. Acceleration, velocity, and weight are vectors. Vector quantity. Number 39. An ant on a picnic table travels 30 cm due east. Okay? Then, ang nangyari is northward siya, 25. Then, bumalik siya. Due west. So, anong magnitude niya? What we need to find is this part here. Okay? So, via Pythagorean theorem, all we need here is this one. So, we have 25, 30 and this hypothesis, uh, hypotenuse here. Okay? So, C is equal to the square root of 15 squared plus 25 squared equals the square root of 850 and we will have 29 centimeters. Number 40. What would be the horizontal line in a position time graph? Okay? Okay? So, in physics, we should know how to interpret graphs. Okay? Let's try to interpret uh, this type of graph. We have this times, distance and time graph. Okay? If the slope, the slope represents the speed. The steeper the slope, the faster the speed. If it is a straight line, it is constant. And flat line, it is on no motion. That is a, in a distance time graph. Okay? So, next. In terms of acceleration, acceleration, if makikita natin yung graph is nag-curve siya, it means the object is accelerating. Okay? There is a changing slope, meaning to say there is a change in velocity. Okay? That is for a distance time graph with respect to acceleration or with respect to a curve. Let's have a speed and time. Speed and time graph, yung slope niya is yung acceleration. Pag yung positive, yung velocity niya, it speeds up. Pag negative, nagsuslow down siya. Pag straight line, in a speed time graph, constant yung acceleration. But flat line, walang acceleration. Meaning to say, constant yung velocity. So, back to the question. What would be the horizontal line in a position time graph? Horizontal meaning constant yung position at zero yung velocity. Okay? Flat time. Walang movement. Constant ang position. Walang velocity. Number 41. A heavy object and a light object are released from the rest at the same height and time in a vacuum. As they fall, they have equal what? Again, in a vacuum. Pag i-release natin silang dalawa, pareho, the same yung acceleration nila. Okay? Same acceleration. Kahit mas mabigat yung mas mabigat yung isang object kasi nasa vacuum po sila. Number 42. 
in a pair of scissors na saan yung fulcrum? Siyempre, yung fulcrum sa isang scissors is nasa screw. Nasa screw. Hindi sa handle, wala sa blades, hindi sa edges. Number 43. A stone was thrown upward from the roof at the same time that an identical stone was dropped from there. The two stones will what? Okay? The, stu the two stones will what? Again, pareho silang uh, dinadrap, dinrap. Yung isa is pataas, yung isa is normal lang, downwards. So, both have the same acceleration when they reach the ground. Okay? Yan yung mangyayari sa dalawang stone. Okay? Pareho silang may, pareho silang, uh, pareho ang kanilang acceleration. At the same time, they will reach the ground. Number 44. A ball is launched at an angle of 60 degrees from the horizontal. What do you call the horizontal distance traveled by the ball? So, yung distance traveled by the ball. So, that is, this R is what we call range. Okay? The, the horizontal distance is what we call range. Not trajectory, not projectile. Number 45. Ito. Absence of air resistance. Yung projectile has a maximum range when thrown at an angle. So, maximum range dapat 45 degrees. Maximum range 45 degrees. Let's go to 46. What is the type of energy possessed by a simple pendulum with it when it is at the mean position? Okay? My pendulum. Okay. My pendulum. Pag nasa mean position sa meaning nasa gitna, what type of energy is that? That is kinetic energy. That is kinetic energy. Mean position of a pendulum, kinetic energy. Potential, potential, kinetic. Okay? Kinetic pa ito. Okay? Number 47. A woman lifts a barbell 2.2 meters in 5 seconds. If she lifts it in the same distance in 10 seconds, the work done by her is what? Okay? We are talking about work here. Meaning to say, it has the same work. Okay? It has the same work with the same distance. Okay? Same din yung work niya. Nya, dahil we have the formula of work force times distance. Okay? Same lang yung work niya. Number 48. Which of Newton's law best explains why motorists should always wear seatbelts? Okay? Pag may keyword na seatbelt, automatic inertia. Pag may seatbelt, inertia. Number 49. Which energy conversion takes place when a toaster is switched on? Okay? Pag nag gusto ka ng ano, toasted bread, okay? mayroong toaster. Ba? May toaster. How do you turn on the toaster? Diba? Ipa-plug natin sa electrical socket. Meaning to say, it has electrical energy at first. Okay? Toaster nga, diba? It will produce heat. Meaning to say, thermal. The answer here is electrical to thermal. Number 50. Which of the following can transform electrical energy to mechanical energy? Again, we have electrical to mechanical, meaning it is an equipment or it is a machine that requires electricity or that should be plugged in. Then it will have mechanical energy afterwards. So, light bulb, that is light energy. Loudspeaker, sound, television, both. Diba? Both. Tama ba? Marami. Marami conversions ni television. So, the answer is letter B, electrical fan. So, pinaplug natin yung electrical fan sa socket. So, electrical energy. Then, it will run on a mechanical form, mechanical basis, then mechanical energy. Nagpo-produce sa ng air due to mechanical energy. 51. What is a closed continuous path through which electrons can flow? Closed, continuous path. Automatic, we can visualize that is a circuit. That is a circuit. 52. If three identical lamps are connected in a parallel, okay, 
to a 6 volt dry cell. What is the voltage drop across the lamp? Again, parallel. 6 volts. Okay? So, ang nangyayari sa voltage niya? It should be the same. So, the answer is 6 volts. Letter C. Number 53. What happens to the current carrying ability of a wire as temperature increases? So, anong mangyayari sa current pag yung wire is umiinit siya? Okay? Umiinit siya. So, when we think about this, okay, pag si wire nagiinit siya, it does not, it decreases its capability to contain or to get all the current across its structure. So, meaning to say, the wire can carry less current. Okay? Pag umi-increase yung temperature, lumilesen na yung current current carrying capacity niya. Okay? Number 54. 1,000 cm cube is equal to what? That is equal to 1 liter. Just convert it. Okay? 1 cm cube equals to 1 millimeter. So, times 1,000. 1,000 ml is equivalent to 1 liter. 55. Last number. A rock Drop of a bridge takes five seconds to hit the water. Approximately, what was the rock's velocity before the impact? Okay, so we have the initial. We have zero. We have time equals five, and we have the constant g. We have nine point eight. So all we have to do is to manipulate. So we need to find the final velocity, which is fifty meters per second. Letter C. Okay. That's all for physics. So, um, just a tip. Basta physics po yung uh, lalabas. Kasi yung sa time ko, uh, halos one half po sa questions is lumabas po physics. At halos lahat is uh, problem solving. Puro basic. Tapos yung mga problem solving is paulit-ulit po yung uh, lumabas. Like one question like this, Three questions of this for the entire exam. So, pag di mo alam yung pag di mo na solve, so just don't ano wag mo i all in. Make it such na choose two options para maraming chances of winning. Okay. So in physics, just Do calculations on the basics, especially speed, velocity, and trajectory, plus gravity. All of those equations there should be basic. So, wag na yung mga mahirap, puro basic lang. So, pag may book kayo, yung mga example sa book yun yan yung mga lalabas po. Pag sa physics, okay? Again, physics calculations don kayo magfocus. Ah, in earth science, trivia questions. Sa chemistry balancing, tapos yung mga, may, uh, mga basic concepts ko. So, yun lang.